Burt Reynolds and Diana Shore had a notable and widely publicized relationship that captivated the media and fans alike during the 1970s. Reynolds, the charismatic Hollywood actor, and Shore, the renowned singer and television personality, embarked on a romance that defied expectations due to their significant age difference. In this video, we'll take a look at an incredibly awkward moment that marked the true end of the relationship, as well as some more facts about Burt's dating life. So stick around as Facts First presents Burt Reynolds and Dinah Shore's final moment is heartbreaking. Burt and Dinah Burt Reynolds and Dinah Shore had a notable relationship that captured the attention of the public in the 70s. It began in the early part of the decade when they were introduced by a mutual friend at a dinner party. Reynolds, a rising Hollywood star, known for his charismatic persona, and Shore, a beloved singer and TV personality, found themselves drawn to each other's magnetic personalities. The couple's relationship quickly became the subject of media scrutiny and public interest. Despite their significant age difference, Shore was more than 20 years older than Reynolds, their connection seemed to defy expectations. Reynolds often spoke of Shore's warmth, intelligence, and wit, while Shore admired Reynolds' talent and charisma. Reynolds and Shore dated for several years, maintaining a high-profile relationship. They attended events together and were often seen supporting each other's careers. Reynolds appeared as a guest on Shore's popular daytime talk show, The Dinah Shore Show, where they showcased their chemistry and shared banter. But despite their affection for one another, Reynolds and Shore faced challenges that ultimately led to the end of their relationship. Reynolds, who was at the height of his film career, found himself grappling with personal and professional pressures, including the demands of burgeoning stardom. In contrast, Shore, an established entertainer, had a more settled life and may have wanted a more committed partnership. Their relationship eventually ended amicably in the mid-70s, with both parties acknowledging that their individual journeys and priorities were leading them in different directions. Namely, Reynolds wanted to have children, but Shore did not. This put them at a crossroads where they had to either split or one of them would have to change their minds. So they split. Reynolds went on to have other high-profile relationships, while Shore remained focused on her career and personal pursuits. While their romantic relationship may have ended, Reynolds and Shore maintained a fondness and respect for each other throughout their lives. They spoke positively about their time together and the impact each had on the other's life. Their relationship served as a significant chapter in both of their personal histories, leaving an indelible mark on their individual journeys. Bert and Dinah's romance captured the attention of the public and showcased the dynamic between two charismatic and talented people. Dinah's Career Dinah Shore, born Frances Rose Shore, was a singer, actress, and TV personality who enjoyed a successful and multifaceted career, spanning several decades. She rose to prominence as a popular vocalist in the 40s and 50s, known for her smooth, engaging voice and a repertoire that included jazz, pop, and traditional American standards. She achieved commercial success with numerous hit songs, including Blues in the Night, Buttons and Bows, and It's So Nice to Have a Man Around the House. Her warm and inviting singing style endeared her to audiences, and she became a beloved figure in the music industry. In addition to her successful music career, Shore ventured into television and achieved significant fame as a host. She hosted her own variety show, The Dinah Shore Chevy Show, which aired from 1951 to 63. The program showcased her musical talents and featured guest appearances by popular celebrities of the time. Her charming personality and natural ability as a host made her show a hit and further solidified her status as a TV star. She also made notable appearances in films including Up in Arms and Aaron Slick from Punkin' Crick, where she showcased her acting abilities alongside her musical talent. The Awkward Televised Moment Between Burt and Dinah In 1981, CBS aired a special honoring Burt. It was called All-Star Party for Burt Reynolds, and it included speeches and performances from big names like Dolly Parton, Jackie Gleason, James Stewart, and more, and Dinah Shore was in the audience. The cringy moment came when Burt stood in front of the audience and asked his, quote, best friend to join him on stage and sing a song. And from the surprised and confused look on Dinah's face, it seemed clear this wasn't something they had planned. And despite the fact the two had been in a loving relationship in previous years, that was no longer the case. So there was an incredibly awkward feeling in the room, seeing as Bert was asking his ex to come serenade him on television. Dinah, ever the professional, agreed to come up on stage. And with Jack Lemmon playing the piano, Dinah sang the glory of love to Bert. It was a bittersweet and awkward moment that served as perhaps the final moment of the two as a couple. Bert and Sally 
The relationship between Burt Reynolds and Sally Field remains one of the most memorable and enduring in Hollywood history. They first met on the set of Smokey and the Bandit in 1977, where they starred alongside each other as the charismatic duo Bandit and Carrie. Their on-screen chemistry was electric, and it soon translated into a real-life romance. Their relationship blossomed during the filming and continued off-screen for several years. Their connection captivated the public and the media, and they were often seen together at events and publicly expressing their affection for one another. They openly praised and supported each other's work, with Reynolds often expressing admiration for Field's talent and intelligence. But despite the strong bond they shared, Reynolds and Field faced challenges that eventually led to the end of their romantic relationship. They both had demanding careers, and the pressures of fame combined with personal struggles took a toll on their partnership. Additionally, Reynolds' well-known aversion to commitment and his desire for independence contributed to the eventual breakup. Despite that, they maintained a deep respect and fondness for one another, continuing to support each other's career, and they remained on amicable terms. Burt's Dating Life Burt Reynolds had a colorful dating life. He was known for his charm and attracted the attention of numerous women, both within and outside of the entertainment industry. In addition to Dinah Shore and Sally Field, Reynolds dated a number of other famous women. Reynolds and actress Adrienne Barbeau were in a relationship during the late 70s and early 80s. They starred together in the film Cannonball Run. There were rumors of a brief romantic involvement between Reynolds and country music legend Tammy Wynette during the late 70s. Reynolds and professional tennis player Chris Everett reportedly dated in the early 80s, and there were rumors of a romance between Reynolds and actress Faye Dunaway during the late 60s. Burt was married twice. His first marriage was to British actress Judy Carn in 1963, but that was short-lived and they divorced two years later. His second marriage was to actress Lonnie Anderson in 1988. Their relationship also garnered significant media coverage, but unfortunately it ended in divorce in 1993. Throughout his life, Reynolds had a reputation for being candid about his personal life, often discussing his relationships and experiences in interviews. He acknowledged the challenges he faced in maintaining long-term partnerships, attributing some of it to his own personal struggles and the demands of his career. Despite the ups and downs of dating and married life, Reynolds maintained a sense of humor and a lighthearted approach to relationships. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that Burt Reynolds and Diana Shore had an incredibly awkward moment on national television? Let us know in the comments section below.